Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So a week or two ago, I posted a video letting you know about um, this change that Google um, could be making to the Chrome security icon, which is this little um, lock icon found to the left-hand side of the um, Omnibox and the address bar. Now, I'll leave a link to that video down below just to give you more info, but just for the purpose of today's video, if we just do a side-by-side -side comparison between the stable version on top and the Canary uh, preview version of Chrome underneath, um, yeah, we can see that in Canary, that lock icon has been replaced, what I called in that previous video, with a toggle and slider circle. And basically, um, what this little icon is all about, in case you are unaware, um, it's when you visit a secure website, which means um, one that loads over HTTPS, which is basically, in a nutshell, a, sec a more secure um, connection, um, you'll see this lock icon in the address bar, which in Chrome Canary is this circle and slider icon. Now, um, when I did post previously, there wasn't too much known about why that change had been made, and it actually is a lot more so-called deeper than I thought. And Google has made some announcements uh, in this regard, which I thought I'd just share with you today in this video, um, in case you were interested. And it's not just cosmetic, there's actually a reason for this. So if I just zoom in here quickly, so you can just see this a whole lot better in the actual video. So those are the two icons I'm talking about, the lock icon and the so-called circle and slider icon to the left of the address bar. Now, um, Google is actually calling this a tune icon. And they explain this in a recent blog post, and I'm quoting this. Replacing the lock icon with a neutral indicator prevents the misunderstanding that the lock icon is associated with the trustworthiness of a page and emphasizes that security should be the default state in Chrome. They con continue to say, our research has also shown that many users never understood that clicking the lock icon showed important information and controls. We think the new icon helps make permission controls and additional security information more accessible while avoiding the misunderstanding that plague and plagued the lock icon. So that's basically, in a nutshell, um, Google explaining why they have actually made this change. And if you do click on the icon, you can actually see that it gives you site information regarding your connection is secure, you can reset permissions, you get information to cookies and site data, site settings, and even information about that page. So it actually goes a lot deeper than just being a cosmetic change. Now this change um, with the so-called tune icon now, as um, a Google is calling it, will apparently be rolling out with uh, Chrome version 117. Now, we have just been bumped up to version 113, as I did post on today, earlier today. And currently, uh, in Chrome Canary, we are on version 115. So, it's a little bit of work to do. And when Chrome version 117 rolls out to the stable channel, um, we should see this new um, icon, uh, which Google is now calling the Tune icon, appear. And if you are... Um, testing features in Chrome Canary, if we just head over to our Flags page um, and we just enter Chrome Refresh or just put in Refresh, that'll be enough to bring up the relevant flag. You'll see that icon change if you have the Chrome Refresh 2023 flag enabled. And if you want more info on the Chrome Refresh, just do a search on the channel. I have posted a lot of videos in regards to that. And um, that's regarding the... Um, security icon, the padlock icon as mentioned, which now has been changed to the tune icon. Now something else just to take note of, um, another change that I've spotted uh, in Chrome Canary regarding the uh, extensions. You, you can see here uh, that this new extensions button that I have posted on previously, which will also be a new um, icon and button, which could be rolling out with the Chrome refresh um, for this year, 2023 has um, received a makeover and a new icon. Now, over and above that, you can see that there's actually a little line through that icon now. And it seems now, this rolled out with my overnight update to Chrome Canary. And it seems now when a extension or extensions cannot be used on a page, as an example, the Google homepage or the new tab page, you can see that it shows you that extensions won't be allowed or cannot be used on that page and as soon as I as, as an example click on my YouTube channel you can see that that little line disappears so obviously it means now that those extensions are available and can be used 
um, on that actual website or web page, which I actually think is a handy idea. I think it just gives you an indication, though, um, that those extensions are unavailable and cannot be used on that actual page. So that's just a quick video, um, just bringing to your attention two changes that Google has made recently uh, in Google Chrome for desktop. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.